Hello there everybody, Don Evans here for WatchReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Brera Orology Super Sportivo Square. This watch is 44 millimeters in width by 46 millimeters in length. It is a multifaceted sapphire crystal, which you can get a really good look here at. You can tell there is a lot of work going in to shaping that crystal for this case. So that is completely custom. This is done in a brushed gunmetal, basically all around the case in the little staple areas here that are holding down uh, the bezel. And only the crown and crown pushers and the screws and that bezel area underneath are done in um, a polished and brushed stainless steel. The movement being used is a Ronda 5040B Swiss quartz movement. You have a three layer dial here to try and give you the best look at it possible. As you can see, uh, just like with the crystal, there is a lot of work going on in here with the dial. Everything being custom. You have the four screws holding down that main portion of the dial. The way that the markers are skeletoned out. The rest of the inside of the dial is skeletonized out. And you have the markers uh, bridging out like that. This is the gray and yellow version uh, with the gray strap. There are a couple other versions. I believe there are four versions all together. You can check that out on the Breer Orology site. Now, as far as I know, all these screws that you see around the case, and we'll give you a good look at the case here in a second, are functional. So these screws that are attaching here to that inner bezel the screws on the side of the case here with this nameplate. Now, I don't know why. Now, for some reason, normally I do not really like branding um, on the side of the case. You know, but in this instance, the way they did it, it's not just, uh, you know, uh, an etching on the side of the case. It is a deep engraving into this plate. And you know what? For the most part, you're not going to, you know, people aren't going to see it, like a huge branding on the side of the case. So I think it was a very subtle way of doing it. Take a look at the crown and pushers here. Very nicely signed crown. You could see here just how tight the tolerances are on everything. The way the strap integrates into the case. There are no rough edges or finishes on this at all whatsoever. This is a screw down crown. Screw it here real quick, just to give you a look. You have the big date there at the 12 o'clock position. Screws down very solid, very nice crown, very sturdy, very solid, uh, very smooth to operate. Take a look at the case back. The case back is very deeply engraved here, and it is all done in that brushed gunmetal as well. The strap is a natural rubber strap. This is uh, a gray natural rubber. Very comfortable on the wrist. It's signed all on the inside here. You have a nice square custom buckle. It is also engraved. Now, a couple of things I want to point out. Um, because of the integrated strap, now you could see there are screws right there. And those are the screws that are to be able to take the strap off. So 
Obviously, I'm sure that, you know, if anything was to happen to the strap, that Brera Orology would replace it. You could uh, uh, email uh, Brera or call them and, um, you know, get a replacement strap. But you are obviously not going to be able to uh, interchange straps, uh, you know. This is not a strap watch uh, where you're going to be able to put your own kind of straps on that. So keep that in mind if that is something that you like to do. Honestly, there really is so much work here uh, done to put this case together. You could see how much time and effort uh, was putting into not only designing and engineering it, but also uh, into machining and building it. Personally, that, that crystal to me is just fantastic. Beautiful dial work. This is definitely not the type of watch that you're going to see, uh, you know, on everybody's wrist. And um, so, and, you know, this, you know, obviously is not the type of watch for everybody. I'll be perfectly honest. This is not my personal style of watch uh i'm usually more of a dive watch guy but there is just something about this uh just how well it's made and the look about it that uh i really really have uh fallen uh, you know I, I i really i really like this a lot i just love the look i will show it to you on the wrist here in a minute it also wears great even though it's a big square case because there is no lugs because there are no lugs and uh, you know it's only 46 millimeters lug to lug it's going to wear great on you know a variety of wrist sizes if I did not mention it yet and I apologize the full retail price on this is $995 USD as always check out the full review at watchreport.com there will be a link in the description and you will see my full updated review with my thoughts and comments on it, plus a ton of pictures and more info. Let me put it on the wrist here real quick, so you can see what it looks like on a seven and a half inch wrist. Here is a look at it on my wrist. As you can see, like I said, 46 millimeter lug to lug and then that strap makes it taper out just a little bit so probably say with the strap you're coming in at like about 48 to maybe 50 max lug to lug on the wrist it is a very 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 comfortable watch to wear and as i said a very unique look this is not something you're going to see every day and you know what sometimes people you know you think well it's sometimes not you know the, to me, this is not, you know, what you're going to, I would deem as, say, your fashion watch. Normally, sometimes when I term the word fashion watch, I think inexpensive or cheap. There's nothing inexpensive or cheap to this watch to me. Uh, everything was uh, custom done and custom designed. And uh, they definitely took their care and time with building it. So if you are looking for something different, something outside the norm... Uh, this would and something that is uh, very high quality This might be uh, one you want to take a look at This has been a look at the Brera Orology Super Sportivo Square As I said before check out the full review on watchreport.com if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel here And you'll never miss another review or video And if you have not checked out watch report forums yet Go ahead and check it out with our growing community. Lots of great guys over there uh, discussing watches and uh, watch news and everything else in between. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, and we'll see you next time with another video review.